Team Cyprian, Team Morara, once again, welcome to my channel. I'm super excited. The support you are giving me means a lot to me. May Almighty God bless you. As you all know, Morara alikuwa mesema anenda rikizo ama anenda vacation kidoko ili adistrategize hakuje kama kawa, hakuje kwa mpigo. Now, uh, Morara uh, meweza kurudi in a short while. Uh, kasama kwamba the only mistake he has been doing ni kusoma comments ama kuwards videos ambazo amefanya how people are reacting. Of which, and you, you all know, Kenyans, wani wa Kenya ni wale wale, lazima wataongea. Now, there is this man I know most of you are mjui. Nyi munasikianga kwamba Adani, Adani, Adani. You don't know the guy behind Adani. Ama the person who exposed Adani. The person who exposed Adani, anaitua Nelson Amenya. So Nelson Amenya, yeye ndi aliweza kuexpose Adani Pupo. Fuiti hata yeye maisha yake ikuwa tarini because amekuwa kifuatu wanaisha. I think kama kana Austria something like that. Kama sija kosea kwa outside the country. But pia uh, maisha yake imekuwa tarini. So there is a day uh, uh, Nelson alikuwa live and most of you wanya muna, muna watching live stream wakati ni na live stream. Muli msikiza vizuri sana Nelson Amenya kisema. Uh, kuna watu wengine wanafikia kwamba wakati ni naongea mambo ya Adani, I'm trying to distract uh, Morara Kebaso o oh, Sijini. Nikajua hawa watu wawili ni kama wakona bifu yenye yeleweki. Now, sijawi fuatililia, but it, sasa since that, leo hii imekuwa a big fight kwa mtandao ama X. Na mimi kama si print TV, lazima nilete haya mambo hapa, hili tuweze kujadili sisi kama wana Morara ama wana si print, ama wa Kenya kwa jumla, hili tuweze kujua namna ya kusaidia hawa vijana. Now, uh, Morara pia, uh, tulikuwa tumepeana advice kwamba apate advices from people wenye wa, yani vigogo wa kisiasa. The likes of Okio Mtata, I believe in that man. I don't know kama ni mi peke yangu, siju kama there is someone here who can support me, but I feel like if um, Mo, uh, Morara atapata some guidance kutoko Okio Mtata I, is good to go because Okio Mtata, I've been seeing yeye anatetea sana wa Kenya ni vile ana ngufu ama ana wale watu wenye wana pack up. But so far he has been doing well. So, uh, pia Morara mesema aezi akapata uh, advices from the old people wenye wamekua kwa kisiasa, anataka watu wengine kuna zingina aneza chukua, kuna zingina wezi akachukua so, kwa hiyo suwala asha tujibu, amesema kwamba kuna vile yeye anajaminia na advice zake na wale watu ambao wanafanya nini wanampatia so today uh, wakati Morara aliongea kwa video alisema kwamba watu mmezoea sana mna mfollow pale mtandawa makiwa live mna mchocha oh we are going to occupy we are going to do this ako na 260,000 followers in x alafu na 600 plus k ya uh, huko tiktok na 299 something ama 300k huko facebook but sasa shida yenu ni kumchocha mna occupy but at the end of the day amwezi mka occupy like juzi wakati adishikwa watu wenye walishwa hapo walikuwa dati meaning nyinyi wengine hamuku kwa huko so hiyo kitu wakati aliyeka akasema watu wenye wanataka kuni unfollow if that one makes you okay is okay wacha nyinyi muni unfollow nitapaki na wale watu ambao na yao ndio watu wangu so hiyo uh, kitu i think amenya hakulichukulia rais hivyo akaingia kwa pechi yake akaandika hivi naona mnashuka ya mesaya wenu na venye mulinitusi this is Nelson Amenya and then Morara Kebaso Hakuna mtu ameshuka, wameongezeka, check my profile and count. I'm really pro. I'm very passionate about change in Kenya. Pro, let's work together. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm super excited the way Murara Kebaso has responded to Nelson Amenya kumambia, bro, let's work together. Isi vaitiza mtanda, kuna mali na tupeleka. And guys, let me tell you, I I know Mahali, Dennis Itumbi yako anateka tu anafraya because at the end of the day, what the government wanted, we have seen these people fighting like today I've been streaming live mahali ambapo wale watu wamnye wamekuwa wakifanya kazi na Morara imekuwa ni kama kuna ka fight in between hii historia ya Moli venye ilitokea huyo kijana ambaye kioti alikuwa accused akitetea akasema yeye hakukuwa huko Morara ali respond in a certain comment akisema si kioti and then the people wenye wana support kioti wakauliza why Morara has taken that much time without responding ama without addressing yaseme stop bullying ama stop trolling 
kioti si yeye halikuwa mall ama si yeye ameusika kwa haya mambo yote so kumekuwa na vita ambazo mimi personal i feel like hii ndio government ilikuwa inataka na ine succeed and from the look of things if these youths are going to continue fighting now and then online this movement is going to die but my prayer ni hawa watu ingekuwa ni vizuri shida ikitokea waketi chini waongee waelewane haya mambo yafanya nini yatatuliwe and that's why mimi i always say morara you need people ambao watakuguide not only watu ambao wako kwa kisiasa watu ambao wamekoma kiakili wazee ambao they can guide you how things are being handled hizi vitu ukiingia kwa mtandao vile unafaa kufanya how to be hard headed you know kisha ingia hapa lazima uwe kichwa ngumu hata mimi ni kichwa ngumu kivyangu wakati nafikia hapa kwa mtandao because kama hauwezi ukakuwa vichwa ngumu kuna watu wengine hapa wanakutusi mpaka unakaa hivi unajiuliza hey huyu mtu amenitusi vibaya so that's why we always say kuna vita ambazo ukiingia lazima u get some advices like how you need to uh, stay with people how you need to reply people because at the end of the day you don't have to reply to each and every comment even me i don't reply all comments i just reply maybe one to two because at the end of the day ukianza kufuatilia watu wanakutusi utaumia pure. So I just want to read how uh, Kenyans reacted about this Morara issue. There is someone here said Morara you need to get down from the high horse and accept to be mentored by Okio Mtata. This was my point. It's my suggestion guys it's like I, I'm saying so. If you accept this and only work under him then you will mature enough to lead and also be under the necessary conditions to be guided. The utterances you made the other day that the shower is worse than Ruto sounds a lot like Kasmu that's why I being staunch uh, supporter of cast the shadows around yourself you have to be guided. So kuna watu wamekuja waka reply hapo chini ya hiyo ya hiyo reply yake but nyinyi pia mko tu peti mnataka mtu wako kama Yesu ama mtu akisema something small you don't like you start cast, casting doubt on everything else that person stands for do you think anyone can lead you with that thinking no wonder all Gen Z leaders are now gone Ah uh, uyu the same person I may reply sasa na very big nini very big uh, paragraph but tutasoma tuone maybe there is something I have several issues with Morara even though I'm one of those who have defended him including against Master Rose Number one, the endless fundraisers must stop they are sucking the bloodline of revolution it appears as if this has become a source of seeking self interest than revolutionary cause number two, part formation even before we organize platforms such as all social platform where we can organize and identify our numbers where we come from the grassroots movement such that we have groups of 100 of believers in the gospel organizing from grassroots all the way to the top we don't even have a young kavironda Associ association yet a party has been formed and members leading it it seems like a flood isn't it isn't your opinion zake i'm reading comments on the 25th when comrades who are dying morara was using the hashtag ruto must go to market his furniture business he has never addressed this but this one i doubt what is the obsession with showing dead projects does he genuinely think this does anything to help the cause it doesn't it in fact it makes them love ada there are a noise excitement but it does little we have other issues such as ipc dissolving parliament and organizing the matter of all the protests morara has absolutely refused several calls for him to look for an elder including okio mtata for him to work under and be guided that does not mean that he is a subordinate it means he is willing to work with experienced leaders who have had impact to work on creating movement he has instead made himself if the center piece and gen c president who if told him he is a gen c president in fact he's saying that in itself makes him appear to be after self interest and self elevation morara kebaso if you are listening i'm your biggest supporter and your biggest critic 
Deep down, I believe you are not a sellout, but you are falling hard for the same reason and the people you criticize well, self-interest, take care. <laughs> so, uh, someone, uh, amemun, amemunini, I just wanted to read something here. Good response from you. The suggestion you... The suggestion to work with someone seen is particularly important. Point number four, others say you should focus on those tall projects and less on party manenos. How to deal with these divergent views. So, I don't know what's your views. Uyo kio mtata uwa muna mulasimisha na hata yeye mwenyewe anajua awezi. So guys, uh, this is the views of Kenyans I want to go. We we now we focus. Si kila siku ni changi ni omtata ushinda kotini na ajawa isema changi. Also stop those stupid entitlements. This thing entitlement, I don't know. How how can you say someone is entitled? Because I've seen some people saying so. Na murara mesema, kuna watu wengine mesema like ya entitled. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Siyezi ni kasema, but so far, I haven't seen anything like that kwa murara. Um, all we are telling you is not to be excited as in want to achieve everything now and right now. Pole, pole and your mwendo. You are not dealing with an NGO but a government. And if you're going to go for be a good student of history, visit the veterans for nourishment. Working together means space for everyone. I still feel you didn't treat Mercy. You didn't have to crush her efforts and take over her work. Those are Kenyans. Atujashuka bado because we still have the glimmer of hope and somehow, some way you will see sense. You had given us so much hope for us to lose it. Pub, it's too at the breaking. Please take into, the cons into consideration the things people are pointing out. Don't take it as an attack. Morara, please focus with local politics. Your gut is operating your personality. Shidayako ni wambiwi. Sometimes it's good to listen to other people's opinion. Uyu mse ni influencer ama freedom fighter. Um, hmm. Someone said, nilikuambia uwache drama. Always expect kila mtu wakuje maari uko. You need to grow hard skin and be straight and honest with yourself. Tukikuja sisi wote kukutua jela. Nani wataenda kufungua mpesa ndio watu watume pesa ya kuendelea na injection. So those are Kenyans, uh, Kenyans reacting. But even me, I just want to advise my brother, Morara. Morara, you don't have to fight with anyone. Just the focus. You have so many Kenyans supporting you. Mtu moja wawili watatu comments zao aziwezi zikazuia wengine kukusupport. But what I'm hatching you, I heard you lisema kuna zile comments unasoma zenye ziko positive unasichukulia the advice. I'm asking you, continue reading zile comments ama, ama, ama wale watu ambao wako in boxes zako with the important message that will guide you, that will help you to grow. Because in this journey, it's not easy. Morara, it's not one plus one. In this journey, lazima uwe kichwangumu. Lazima upitie shida. Lazima ushikwe. Lazima wale wenye watatitokeza wakutoe. Lazima wengine hawata kupenda. Si watu wote morara wata kupenda. Na ujue si watu wote wamefraia kile kitu ambacho na unafanya sasa hivi. Kuna wale wakiono umeshikwa wanafraia, kuna wale wakiono umeshikwa wanakasirika, kuna wale wa ukishikwa wao wako hapo in terms of maombi, wengine in terms of maybe kukutumia hata kama ni credit. So what I'm going to ask you Morara, you don't have to respond to those people who you know very clearly they are fighting you. Sometimes it's good, it's good to ignore them. You don't have to reply each and every comment. Sometimes mtu anakurusha mawe so that you concentrate kumjibu, it could trigger your mind so that you become like, oh my God, even if wakenya wanataka kunichapa. 
yes we let you down the day and ulikuwa umeshikwa chuzi but also remember first day wakati ulishikwa wa Kenya walisimama na wewe you cannot keep on saying like oh niko na followers hivi hawakunisupport wakati nini na nini no just focus just do what you know is good for this country and definitely people gonna love you or like you automatically sometimes wakati mwingine mtu anapoendelea kukuongea wewe ni mbaya sometimes unapata watu wengine wanasema hey epo can i watch this girl mwenye nimekuwa nikiambiwa ni mbaya so that ni juu ubaya wake ni na, ni gani when you continue doing what's good for this country there are some people who will come and love you naturally there are some people who will come and support you naturally each and every time uko na shida they will stand with you even if ni watu wawili watatu they will stand with you and when you are fighting for a revolution when you are fighting for kenyan it doesn't mean or it doesn't matter how many people are going to support you but what matters is what are you going to do with these people what are you going to do with these people who believe in you maybe some of them they cannot manage to come wherever you are but the end of the day they pray for you like they are they are saying god help morara god wherever morara he is protect even me in my channel i have so many people from diaspora they keep on praying for you so mora what i'm going to hurt you just ignore those people who are speaking negative just to focus for the positive things and trust me morara when you pray and when god says he will lift you even if what wa waungane wafanya hadi nothing will happen so that's what i will say i will say or that's what i will tell you for those people who are fighting morara don't fight the anointed one you know they always say usiguze mtu ambaye amekewa mkono na mungu mungu ndiye amemchagua sio sisi tumemchagua so wale mnampiga vita mnajua mjua mnapigana na mungu ampigani na morara mnapigana na mungu anyway all i can say to team cyprian to morara please leave your comment down there so that we can know what you think about these new fights in town why do you think these people are fighting morara are you supporting them or what's your suggestion to morara thank you so much let's keep supporting this girl may all my god bless you i love you so much see you in our next video video bye bye yesterday i was arrested from dc headquarters and uh, taken to langata police station from langata police station i was moved to kibra i want to thank all those who came for me and who fought with me uh wakili kilifom beta wakili solunka pareno wakili wanja um uh, i also want to appreciate all tiktokers that came I want to appreciate every single one of you that came to support me. Lakini sasa there is something I noticed. I was being arrested on a day when something big is happening in the country so that uh, either they divert attention from what is happening or because something big is happening everybody's attention will be in parliament for the impeachment and therefore they can do whatever they want because my followers will not be focused. Now there is something I want to say. Bana mimi nimepigana. I have fought. I have the scars. I've tried and I'm continuing to try and I stuck it could give up and I'm not going to give up. I'm requesting all Kenyans to kindly permit me to go on a small break. Break to ya siku mbili tatu tu ya kwenda tu ku rest so that I think of a new strategy. I'm not going on holiday in Mombasa or Diani so that mseme ah ile pesa tulichanga ameenda na holiday no I'll be in the office I'll be with my team doing strategy but there's one thing I've realized and I want to say on Twitter that is on X I have 260,000 followers on TikTok I have 600,000 followers but the people that came to support me yesterday are about 30 people so where were the rest of these people Okay kuna wenye of course they are not within Nairobi and it was happening in Nairobi na kuna wenye maybe wako na strict employers walikuwa job na kuna wenye wako ngambo but i don't expect kwamba walikuwa nafaa kukosa watu kama 200 or 300 to stand with me so kazi si kuange tu ati mna like content yangu mna comment on the work that i do but si kwenye ngori imenishika ama niko kwa shida you don't show up for me because if you don't show up for me how will i show up for you If you don't fight for me, how will I stay alive to fight for you? Lazima mnishikilie na mimi ndo niweze kuwashikilia. Lazima mkufe na mimi ndo niweze kukufa na nyinyi. So msiniachilie hivyo tena. In fact, afadhali msinichangie do for anything but mkuwe present. 
kuni support na kunipea hiyo emotional support na at least kuonyesha kwamba we support this boy now whenever i say oh rigathi gashagwe is corrupt uh, and uh, his impeachment is not a loss people say you are a, a ruto mole when i say william ruto is corrupt this person should not continue holding power in kenya you people say i am a gashagwe mole so inamaanisha hakuna kitu nitafanya ni kwa se critics and that's okay even in the 2022 election ruto didn't get all the votes he got 7 million votes but there are 6 6 million people who voted for Raila. Yeah. So it means it's not everybody is going to believe in you and I am not saying everybody should believe in me. All I'm saying is please stop killing emerging leaders. Nime realize cause your trend hiyo tabia iko sana kwa X. Watu wa Facebook hata kama watu wa Facebook na TikTok hawana shida sana. Watu wa X kuna hiki kitu mnaita deplatforming where every leader that emerges akifanya ka mistake kadogo hivi you don't correct you deplatform so you kill all leaders to the enjoyment of corrupt people so watu wako corrupt wana enjoy sana because wanajua anybody who comes up mtammaliza nyinyi wenyewe so hakuna haja hata ajisumbue you are your own enemies you are going to finish these leaders and let me say there are people who say oh we should not center our movement around individuals we should only center it around ideologies The problem in Kenya is not ideologies. The problem in Kenya is not laws. The problem in Kenya is not policies. We have beautiful policies, beautiful laws, beautiful manifestos. The problem in Kenya is individuals. Me I never knew that there is something called the Kenya Film and Classification Board until Ezekiel Mutua was there. So why did I know it? I knew it because there was an individual making an impact in that institution. Let me tell you individuals are very powerful in terms of making institutions to have the trust of the public. That's why we trusted the judiciary when Maraga was there. So don't pull down individuals. Support them, mentor them and allow them to make mistakes. I don't know why you are you, you, you are expecting angels. If you are if you are holding these corrupt leaders to the same standard that you hold emerging leaders, it will be so good. But sasa how when you wanajaribu ku rise Unajaribu kutengeneza chama kama inject party nini nini mna wa platform mna wa kejeli mna wa dharau yet these are the people trying to make practical steps towards change remember complaining cannot help us anymore yes you can be online complaining but what practical step are you making towards change in our country so mambo ya kusema de platform huyu nini these leaders are supposed to be allowed to make mistakes stop stressing them Wacheni kuwafanya wakae ni kama sasa ati all of a sudden mtu mlikuwa mnatetea sana sasa amekuwa mjinga sana no give them a chance to make mistakes correct them mentor them we are in a process of mentoring leaders of integrity to take power in Kenya stop the platforming everyone wape a chance sawa sawa and this problem i've seen it more so on x na mimi nataka kuambia watu wa x I really enjoy a lot of support there and I'm happy for the people when you're menishikilia na wamepigana na mimi. Lakini wale wananiuzia uoga at we will deplatform you. You should know I was not born on X. I was born on TikTok. Na niko na fair I can go home. So please, let us stick together. Let's fight together. Let's stop in fighting. Let's stop fighting amongst ourselves. We are making these people happy. E impeachment ya gashagwa ikiisha, we need just one brave member of parliament. Just one to put an impeachment motion for William Ruto then after that all Kenyans we need to fall behind that person and we need to look for our MPs and force them to support that impeachment motion and i want to tell you guys by the way William Ruto does not plan to have a, an election in 2027 it's not within his plan that's why they filed proxy cases in the high court in the political parties tribunal so as to delay the formation of IEBC this guy does not plan to have an election in 2027 and if he's going to have an election in 2027 he will make sure it is a sham election where he wins by 98% like Kagame that means we who are challenging this government like me Kinokio Mutata and the rest we are going to have a very rough time